Prevention of emergency situations. Weather and water conditions play a big role in your safety on the water. Before heading out, make sure you get the latest forecast for your area and that you understand what it means. You should also be aware of local factors which may cause weather conditions to be different from the forecast. People who know the area are the best source for this kind of information. Because summer storms can happen quickly and unexpectedly, you need to stay vigilant and monitor the changes in the environment. If the sky begins to darken and the weather conditions change, you need to head to shelter in a safe area. Before heading out, check navigational references such as charts and tide tables published and updated by the Canadian Hydrographic Service or sailing directions or cruising guides. All of these will help you identify places to take shelter in the event of bad weather. Rapids are considered a local water hazard because they represent a permanent hazard in a predetermined place. They represent a hazard because of the speed of the current, which makes the craft less maneuverable. Rapids are usually shallow and are scattered all about the surface of the water. Rapids, therefore, endanger the pleasure craft and the crew. The presence of overhead cables above navigable waterways represents a local water hazard since they are permanently installed. If you are navigating in a sailboat, it is important that you properly evaluate the space between the top of the mast and the overhead cables because the danger of electrocution is real. Many pleasure craft operators have had their trip end tragically when their mast came into contact with overhead cables. Underwater cables, those are the ones that are laid on the seabed, are also a grave danger. When you drop anchor, it can touch the underwater cable, thus causing electrocution. You could also capsize the pleasure craft while you're trying to haul in the anchor, which is caught on those cables. There are usually billboards on the water warning about the presence of underwater cables. In restricted visibility, such as fog and nighttime navigation, the regulations require that the operator adopt the speed according to those conditions. Sudden winds provoked by specific types of shoreline that surround a specific piece of water may also represent local water hazards. Winds can, without warning, rapidly change speed and direction, thus compromising the safety of your pleasure craft. In shallow waters, when the wind intensifies, the waves can become very large and will break, thus making it very dangerous to navigate. Tides and currents add to the complexity of navigation. When the tide is in the opposite direction of the wind, you will face waves, and this may cause your vessel to capsize, even if the wind is light. You must avoid areas where there are rapids or strong currents in order not to capsize. It is also important to know high and low tides when you anchor so as you do not have the unpleasant surprise of ending up on dry land at low tide. While on a boat trip, it is highly recommended to encourage all passengers to always wear their PFDs. If weather conditions deteriorate, or in the case of emergency, each passenger should be wearing their PFD.